Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Simone Jardim coming to you uh, live from uh, Bonita Springs, uh, the YMCA here. We have a beautiful venue with eight courts. And uh, Carl Schmitz with Pro Pickleball is going to be bringing some matches, a lot of the metal matches, uh, either live or recorded. And then we're going to post it online for you to watch. I hope you guys enjoy it. We have a lot of talent here. It's exciting times in beautiful, sunny Florida. Awesome. So we have made our way now here 450 in the east to the finals. Um, Kyle Yates and Joey Ferrians are coming out of the winner's bracket against Deckelbar and Adam Stone. Um, started on opposite ends of the draw. Um, both had a couple tight matches, um, but neither of them had dropped a set to this point. Um, we saw in the winner's bracket final a very contested 11-7, 9-11, 11-6 for Yates and Farias. Um, but Stone and Barr, um, after dropping that, went ahead and beat um, Andre and Alex 11-7, 11-4, I believe. Um, so pretty awesome stuff from both squads to this point. Um, I expect this to be pretty tight early. Um, Kyle and Joey, I could see potentially pulling away in a second or third, um, just from the standpoint of they've been playing a lot more pickleball lately than Adam and Deckel, and having to play that extra match in the back draw, you could see them maybe run out of gas at some point in time, but I expect to come out being pretty tightly contested, um, and I think everybody should be glued to their seats for this one. Yeah, absolutely, I think it's gonna be a fantastic match as well. I am a little concerned though, because although Joey, as you mentioned, stayed with his orange, uh, Kyle's wearing a white shirt. Yeah, we'll get into that as the match unfolds. There's probably a lot of reasons behind that, um, so we'll break that down for the fans and the followers here. Um, let's see. Kyle and Joey will be receiving. Pretty cool atmosphere here. We've got some people now sitting on the uh, adjacent court and watching this match. And we are ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. Ooh, third shot by Deckel and a high dink Adam could not get out of the way of. And we have some fan participation as this one goes over the back fence. And Dominic Catalano, he wins a prize, picking up the first stray ball of the gold medal match. 0-0-1, Joey serving to Deckel. Good third. Joey acquits himself really well. Um, and Deckel would like that one back. He got the ball he wanted, um, but just left it up a little bit. Good third. That's three drops in a row. Is that something you think we're going to be seeing a lot of this match? Um, so we saw that Kyle would drive a bit more than the other three in the re in the uh, winners bracket final. Um, I don't know if it's a matchup thing or what. Why Adam and Deckel didn't as much, but um, we'll continue to see that unfold. But right on cue, Kyle with the drive. And we're at 2-0-2. And here comes another one. Beautiful shot by Deckel. 
did not have much room, and he went back behind him as the previous dink was at the right foot. Deckel hit it and retrieved the back central, and then Joey went back behind him. But Deckel tracked it down and went around the post, and the Deckel drive is back, and it works. Um, so that's something you, uh, I don't hate that play right now. Kyle's been sitting for a little bit. I don't believe Kyle and Joey hit any drives at each other um, to start or to warm up. It's not that Kyle hasn't seen a million drives, but yeah, maybe the timing's not there a little bit. So they got a cheap one, and it is one, two, two. Adam's money backhand third that he had all in the previous matches left him for the start of this match, and it is 2 1 1. Good deep backhand, and then put it down the middle. It really just froze Joey, and Kyle was coming in on a beeline. Kyle serving at 2 1 2, and drive. And. Good dink by Deckel. Oh, yes, it was out. Adam upset that he hit an out ball, and that is another point, and it is now 3-1-2. And Kyle coming over to take the serve, and then it will retreat back to his side of the court. Or not. And the drive into the net. That's the tough one that it only really, if you're Kyle, can you hit that, because... You have to then cover the other side of the net, and that's a tough, or other side of the court, and that's a tough one. Deckel with a good one, two, three, four. Wow. Beautiful play by Deckel. Yeah. Graceful as he did a little twinkle toes on the line. Yeah, he seems totally comfortable and confident in that position. I would be too if I were 6'3, <laughs> uh, yeah. but just me. So, Adam didn't even really hit much of a roll there. I mean, a little bit, but that was more just sort of putting it up where Joey couldn't get a paddle on it or do damage. And 3-3-1. Three, three, Ooh, went cross court. Deckel, good hands. Oh, that's tough. Deckel with some good hands there. And here we are at 4-3-1. The deck will drive, the Adam finish. That's a great play. We saw a couple points earlier where Deckel drove it and then he finished it up. Adam said, I want some of those high balls that are easy to put away. So he jumped in front and now they're up 5-3-1. Set him up, got the 1-2-3. Yeah, great hands by Joey. Left one up. Um, Joey will be the first probably to tell you you got a little lucky there. Um, but when you have great hands and anticipation, that happens more often than not, honestly. Deckel with the drop. And Kyle, Adam, dink battle. Adam, we hadn't seen him turn it up off the ground like that with the backhand, but it's working, and we're at 6-3-2, and tackle drive. Oh. Yep. That was the first one we've seen him miss in a long time, so we can't fault him. I think that one may have been out, but... Oh. Ball Ooh, heading out off, off of Joey, yeah. Great little granny style pickup. Oh, and Joey read it but just missed it. I think it's really important for Declan Adam to stay on the front foot here in this match. Because they're going to have to win two out of three and then win a game to 15 if they want the gold, so... I think if they can win too early, that would be big. But losing this first one would be very difficult. Oh, great hands by Kyle. Really, really good hands.
Great get by Joey. I feel like Kyle's gonna do something pretty spectacular here in a minute. first long dink rally I would say that they've had this match where the last time they were against each other it seemed like every one of their games yeah a um, couple reasons one Adam and Deckel have been going for a smidge more and, and I think that it's working so yeah they probably they're Maybe they're a little fatigued. They don't want to go for as much, but it's working. Oh, gosh, that's funny. You see shots like that, and we talked about it earlier. They can change the outcome of a match, or at least the momentum. So four, six, two. I'd like to see oh, when Joey and Deckel are dinking cross court. I'd like to see Kyle slide in with that forehand and poach one right at Deckel's hip if he can slide over because Deckel's pretty consistently going cross court. So he doesn't have to worry too, too much about it going behind him. And Kyle's fast enough and quick enough to get anything behind him, anyways. So we're at 6 5 1. Good third. So like, oh. <laughs> Joey finally gets out of the way of one. I think he'll be happy with that. And yeah. Kyle will be too. But that's what these top players do. I mean, something's not gonna work all game or all match. They'll need to make some adjustments and they get that quick side out. Probably not what they were hoping for at this point. Wanted to stay on strong to, uh, to be able to win this match. Side out, we'll see what Kyle is going to be able to do here. And Joey. Yeah, that's great. Good stuff. They had been getting in that pattern, and he was like, well, I'm going to go back behind deck real quick. Adam, Adam just going for a bit much there, and he's been getting that shot pretty much all day, so you can't really fault him. <laughs> just didn't fall in this time. Get a little time out here. If you guys are just joining, we're here live from Bonita Springs, Florida, at the Bonita Springs YMCA, home of Peak Performance Pickleball Academy, which is Chad Edwards and Simone Jardine's academy here. A uh, great place to host a tournament, having a good time here. And if you are listening and you don't have a copy of Pickleball with Pop, shame on you. The first <laughs> children's pickleball book is available at Pickleball Central and on Amazon.com. I highly encourage you to check it out and share with your friends and family. Get everybody involved in the game. Kyle just cleaning up some of the court real quick. We appreciate that. I want to give a shout out to some of our other sponsors. In a little bit. Seven six one. Great hands all around. A little bit long there. Sometimes when I have that dig like Kyle had out of his feet, or actually almost behind him, and I'm in that point, I still feel like I'm playing with house money, so I'll go for a little bit more. He, he continued to play the point out. It's just 
good. Probably what he is, who he is, and I am who I am. Yeah, great hands by Deckel. Yep. Joey slid in to hit that forehand. And it's crunch time, boys. And ladies, and children, and everybody. Everybody. The inclusive world of pickleball. We very much so, honestly. Oh. Joey hit a very out ball, and the point has gotten in to Dinkville. Great point. Yeah. Some come on Yates and come on Joey's from the crowd. We are in Southwest Florida, very close to Kyle's home in Fort Myers. Adam with the return long, and we are now at 6-10. 10-6. Ten two. Joey giving props to Deckel with good hands there. And we are at seven ten two. Good third. Yeah, Joey on that. Ten seven, their second chance to put game one to bed. Game one in the books, 11 6. Are we having a little technical difficulties? Are we back online? What's going on? We're back online, but it looks like the internet's a little spotty right now. Maybe it's because everybody else is uh, pulling out their phones and, and taking video and texting all their loved ones about the great match they're watching right now. And it's taking all the bandwidth away. But uh, we're going to keep working out these little technical kinks. And I keep providing you guys with some great pickleball. But thank you for the feedback. Definitely appreciate it. Keep it coming. We want to know how it's going. Yep, and uh, Carl just reminded me here that we are also recording this, so we will be posting it as well after the fact. So definitely check that out. Um, if you guys are having a little bit of lag in your stream, you'll have high res uh, full videos coming up for you guys here, so you can check it out. And here we go with game two. Joey serving to Deckel. A quick side out will go a long way to start this game. Got him going for a bit much off of the net. Hard to fault him. He's been pretty on so far today um, for going for that shot. But I think they just need to calm it down, get into a little bit of a rhythm, play some good points. This is a good point. Just pushed a little bit wide by Kyle, but great efforts all around. What's your prediction here, 
Josh? Um, so, I'm rooting for a great match. Oh, great get by Deckel. Joey hit a heck of an out ball there. Um, I, they, I, they gotta get up early and going quick um, or else it's gonna be tough. And that's what they're doing. That is definitely what they're doing. Great eye by Adam. Yeah, Declan and Adam seem to come out strong in game one. Had a lot of positive energy going. And I'd like to see them continue with that here for the start of game two. Great hands by Kyle, and the spin just caught Deckel. Yeah, we've all been there. We think it's going to bounce one way, and it doesn't. I thought you meant we've all been in the finals of the Florida Grand Slam <laughs> Pro Tournament. A little bit of a lackadaisical entrance by Adam, but it's working at this point. Yeah. I think they need about five, six minutes of full intensity, get a little confidence and lead going, and see where it takes them. That's a great return off the back of the line. Yeah. And here we are, two, three, one. Just a couple quick, costly ones off the top of the net. I think. Yep, and I think we need a timeout. Um, may not see one, but I think that would be good. Like you said, you can't take them with you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great hands by Deco. Great hands by Deckel again. Yeah, that's a great point. Kyle fakes a lot of people out with that, and somehow Deckel is able to read that. Four, three, two. Gosh, Deckel great again. Deckel's turning into a little bit of a wall here. We'll see if he can maintain it. Three, four, one. Maybe a deckel drive coming? No. Got to be it to him. <laughs> it would have been quite amazing for him to have made a deckel drive on that shot. Yeah. Oh. That's a tough one. Second serve, a little confusion there. Three, four, on the two. Yeah, I feel like a little energy is being zapped from Deckel and Adam. We'll just, I think they just need that one push. Could be a long point that they get. Could be a couple missed thirds. I'm Kyle and Joe. It doesn't need to be anything fancy, just solid. Yeah, not sure if it's the heat or the pressure, but it definitely feels like they've lost a little something at this point. But they can always get it back. Good put away there by Joey.
Five three two. Yeah, covers a lot of court when he's on that front foot. Pretty impressive. Six three. Want to start reeling them in right about here. That's not going to help. You know, it's easy to let those nut shots get you down too. So hopefully they can shake that off. Use this timeout to regroup. Yeah, seven three two. here for men's doubles at the Florida Grand Slam. Yeah, I love to. A lot of people help put tournaments on and make them happen. Um, here we are at the Peak Performance Pickleball Academy hosted by Simone and Chad. We have Engel and Volkers, Phil and Phil team. We have Pro-Am Tennis and Pickleball and Tyrol Footwear. Um, just come out with a new pickleball shoe. And then, of course, Prince Pickleball and Paddle Tech Paddles. And we are back in with action. And it is a quick sign out for Adam and Deckel. Three, seven, one. It's got to be right now, I think they're saying. Great shot. Yeah, well done there. Uh oh. Couple on the trot here. It's always helpful. Five hundred and seventy two here. Yeah, really waited for that one to play out. Yep. Patience. Waiting for the uh, the right time in the right place. Getting that third in. That's tough. A lot late in the day. Yeah, strategically placed in time. That can be a killer shot, though. That's that forehand roll we talked about earlier. That is a pretty shot. We are seven six two. Yeah, great push by Deco. Unbelievable get by Kyle. Oof, a little bit of a bailout by Adam, but it paid off. It's gotta be now. It's gotta be now. Great play. Self-defense from Adam. Awesome hands. Keeps the point alive and wins it. 7-7-1. Seven, seven, Oh, 
Snowball. Oh, we have a second fan winning a prize. Fan participation always encouraged here. Just please no running on the court. Did have a couple streakers earlier in the day. <laughs> We're going streaking. You can't tell it was Eddie. One of the best one-handed backhand drives in the game right there. Fundamentally beautiful. And it is hard with a little bit of dip. Kyle not to be outdone with his own backhand drive. Yeah, well placed down the line there. When a player's got to move and hit a low ball, that's always tough. And here we are, folks, on the precipice. It is 10, 7, 1. Championship point. Kyle with his biggest serve of the day. And a rip. Wow. Probably not how they wanted to do it, but the better team, the more consistent team, is walking off with the gold. The first annual Florida Grand Slam. Kyle, one in the crowd to give it up. Yeah. Hometown hero. They would love it to be a South Florida sweep here as Simone Jardim and Corinne Carr. Yes, and Kyle is saying thank you to the fans for sticking around as he signs the scorecard and throws his hat.